I am going to introduce you to her so she can speak to you. Her name is Dr. Richards from Washington, D.C., so let's give her a hand. How you guys doing? Good! Thank you. Appreciate the energy. So I would like to thank Tibbetts for bringing me out here today to talk to your brilliant selves here. I hear that the best and the brightest are here. Is that, is that correct? Yes. 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 Is that correct? Yes. 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 Okay, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. We know that teachers are very important. And I want to personally thank Greg Smith who brought Tibbetts, um, a teacher for 10 years and school assistant principal of eight years, um, for bringing Tibbetts to you all um, and, and, and helping you recognize how important math is. And so I was asked to speak about the importance of STEM, right? You guys know what STEM is, right? Yes. You just went through it. What is it? Science, technology, math. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, I want to start things off a little bit differently. What do you guys want to be when you grow up? Just yell it out. Engineer, nurse. I love the active participation. What did you say? A nurse. Who else? Oh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Lawyer. Engineer. Engineer. Marine biologist. Construction. Yes. Doctor. Music teacher, we definitely need those as well. And so, at some level, some people may ask you why STEM, right? And I say, why not? So how many of you love your smartphones? Ooh. Well, who would love to have one? Okay, so that, that covers everybody in the room. So it's safe to say that all of you love STEM. Science, technology, engineering, and math is all around us. It's in the smartphones we use, it's in the air that we breathe. I could go on and on, but I won't. Don't worry. And as opposed to just having a smartphone, why not work at a company or start your own where you can create them? Wouldn't that be pretty cool? Yeah. Exactly. I personally love wearing makeup. And maybe some of the, the ladies in the room would hope that their parents would let them wear makeup, right? But how cool would it be to be in a lab creating makeup all day. It's chemistry. That's all that it is. It's chemistry. And it's pretty cool to be able to make something and then create something and then use it. And so you're going to be faced with many obstacles in life. People telling you what you can't do, what you can't be. Oh, you can't do that, right? But you need to use that as an opportunity to shine and to be an example. You set the standard of what a great student should be, whether it's academics or simply a pleasant demeanor. A smile can go a very long way. Or even just saying thank you to your teachers, to your parents, to your family. One defining moment in my life was when I was in elementary school, okay? And so I used to hate math. It was the worst thing on the planet, okay? It was so horrible. And then I had a teacher named Miss Brown who took an interest in me and saw I was trying to do my multiplication quiz on my fingers. Makes no sense. I know. I was crazy. I know. I know. And so she showed me that math could be fun and opened up a whole new world to me when it came to STEM. And so that year, I participated in the citywide math championship. For the competition, I clearly remember the mother of the reigning champion walked up to me and she said, you won't win because you're a girl and you're black. What? Uh-huh, close your mouth, close your mouth. <laughs> Third grade, that's great. Third grade, that's crazy, right? And so for me, I couldn't even imagine that somehow me being a female or me being African-American limited my abilities. That was part of it. The other part is, it was a female speaking to me, another female telling me what I couldn't do because I was a female. Makes no sense, right? So I was very blessed. I had parents who always stressed the importance of hard work and dedication and also warned me that I may come across people who doubt my abilities because of how I looked. 
That incident was the first in a series of incidents throughout my life where people wanted to put limitations on my dreams. And in addition to parental support, seeing people who looked like me achieve great things was an integral part of shaping me into who I am today. So I had a dream of going to college on a full scholarship, and I was accepted to each of the seven universities I applied to. I was accepted to Harvard, MIT, Princeton, Johns Hopkins, University of Pennsylvania, University of Maryland, Baltimore County, and Yale. And I received full scholarships. Wow. Oh, thank you. My personal cheerleader back there. Yeah. And so I, you know, I had this dream of getting a PhD and ended up going to one of the best medical schools in the world in order to receive that degree. And I've learned to dream big dreams, and I encourage you to do the same. Don't let the desire to be accepted by others keep you from pursuing your dreams. And achieving your goals may not be easy but use any obstacle that comes your way as an opportunity. So I'm here to make sure that you know that you don't have to look a particular way, whether it's the mad scientist with the crazy hair or Albert Einstein to be a STEM professional. So in addition to my graduate studies, I was a National Football League cheerleader for eight years, um, three years with the Baltimore Ravens, and five years with the Washington Redskins and was captain for one. Um, it was even had the opportunity to travel the world um, in order to entertain the troops overseas. So I've been to Egypt, I've been to Hong Kong, I've been to Germany, I've been all over. And all of those traits that made me a great scientist also made me a great dancer. Hard work, dedication, and collaboration. And my cheerleading career led me to participate in a group called Science Cheerleading. And it's an association of over 250 NFL, NBA, professional and semi-professional cheerleaders who have STEM backgrounds. I am currently the Chief Academic and Diversity Officer at STEM Connector, where I work with amazing organizations like Tibbetts and get to really wake up every day and be happy about what I do. And my job has a direct impact on making sure that students like you get the opportunities that you deserve. Greg Smith has done an amazing job introducing Tibbetts to this school here. And the proof is in the numbers. With an increase in Tibbetts average math score from 48.64 to 82.52, Tibbetts has not just boosted your critical thinking skills, but it's improved the way that you feel about math. So I have a question for you. Who likes free stuff? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did everybody raise their hand? I was just checking. You don't like free stuff? Oh, you can raise it high. There you go. There you go. And so we have the amazing organization, Tibix, who has an opportunity, giving you the opportunity to get really great free stuff, right? For your classroom, for your teacher, for your teachers. And so each week, six classrooms with the most 0365 Tibbetts games played will win a McDonald's classroom party. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah we like free stuff, remember? Yeah. <laughs> and then there are other monthly and annual prizes like tickets to see the lightning. Who likes the lightning? Ooh. 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 And then for teachers, even a Microsoft service and tablet. So there's something in it for you guys. And there's something in it for your teachers. So you guys need to encourage each other, yes? 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 All right, all right. So whether you're a kid or you're an adult, there's always a potential to put yourself in a box. And you're doing yourself a disservice if you only do one thing. If your dream job does not, cre does not exist, create it. Say it with me. If my dream job does not exist, Creating. Okay, so this time a little bit more energy. Okay? Ready? If my dream job does not exist, create. Amen. All right. Good job. <laughs> and if you're wondering what happened at that math competition, I won that year. 
and I won the next year, and then I won the next year. And so, at the intersection of your passion and values is your dream career. And you have to connect yourself with those opportunities. My advice to all of you is to continue to work hard. And more importantly, know that this life is bigger than you or me. It's about inspiring the next generation, your little brothers and sisters, and all of those who come behind you to achieve things beyond they or you could ever imagine. Thank you all.